We continue our team coverage right now on the two deaths of two Bristol police officers. Retired State Police Lieutenant J. Paul Vance, our law enforcement analyst, is joining us now to talk more about what happened. Lieutenant, thank you very much for being here again this afternoon. You know, there have been a, a lot of reports today about what has happened, but we do know it appears the officers were ambushed, and I'm, I'm curious about your reaction to that. Well, I think it's important to note that this is going to be a very, very extensive investigation. The ambushing of, of murder, the outright murder of those police officers uh, will be investigated extremely thoroughly. And there's a lot of evidence and information that will be examined, such as body cam, if it's available, dash cam, if it's available, um, any other type of video evidence and witness uh, investigation. In other words, interviewing all law enforcement officers that were involved in this incident whatsoever. Uh, anyone that may have been driving by in the initial time when this was taking place. Uh, it's important that they get all the facts and circumstances together and present that to the chief state's attorney for review and to the inspector general for uh, his review uh, of this entire incident. It's a tragedy, but it's important to note that all the facts and circumstances need to be examined so to explain exactly how and why this occurred. This really is just an unimaginable loss for so many, Lieutenant. Uh, I have a dear friend who is an officer and speaking to his wife this morning, she said to me, Aaron, this is what I worry about happening every single night. How, how do we even come to terms with what these families and friends are dealing with right now as also their brothers and sisters in the force? It's, it's very, very difficult for families. And I think that's, that's really the main focus that law enforcement takes right now is trying to support the families. Uh, I think about it and it brings a lump to my throat about the tragedies that have occurred over the years during my career where law enforcement officers lost their lives. And you look at their children, you look at their families, and you realize men and women in law enforcement and EMS and the fire service are human beings. They're family people and their, their spouses say goodbye to them during the day or during the nighttime hours. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow morning. That goes through their minds because every officer that puts that badge and, and equipment on their, their body to go to work to protect and serve know that there is a possibility that they may have an encounter which could be life-threatening. Well, these men are heroes for sure. And, uh, you know, thankfully, we have one officer, Ayarato, who survived. And I would imagine he will be crucial in their investigation about what happened here. You're absolutely correct. He'll be very, very crucial in the facts and circumstances and chronological order and the information he'll be able to present to this investigation. And don't forget, there's the scientific aspect of it where that weapon will be thoroughly examined at the forensic laboratory. The, the medical examiner's office has scientific evidence, even hospital records. All of that information will come together and give a transparent, complete picture of this entire tragedy and hopefully bring some closure for the families of these fallen officers. Retired State Police Lieutenant J. Paul Vance, thank you as always for being with us. We appreciate it.